Hey guys, Simizdem Gaming here. As the title of the video suggests, we're going to be talking about Escape from Tarkov and the pending wipe, and all the things that I think are going to change the way this game plays forever. So on the latest Tarkov TV, Nikita mentioned that vaulting is finally coming in the new wipe in Escape from Tarkov. This is going to change forever because people are going to be able to just climb in more places you're going to be able to jump and then vault up to different areas it's going to be good in firefights as well because instead of having to jump over something you can maybe run and vault over a handrail which you couldn't really do before so it just means you can get away from firefights you can also flank easier and in different ways that's going to change firefights forever however that being said I think it's also going to make rats be able to get up into more places and they're just going to have more options to be annoying. If that's too OP, I'm sure that battle state will change how it works. But only time will tell, right? Another thing that's going to change how Tarkov plays forever is the fact that we're also going to be getting shoulder swapping. It's not traditional shoulder swapping where you physically take the rifle and place it into your left shoulder and switch your front hand. It's like a quick swap, but that means no right hand peak meta, which is going to be interesting. It just means that firefights are going to be dictated differently, that going hand in hand with vaulting in my opinion I think that's going to be quite interesting. That's coming from a left-handed shooter so I'm really excited to see that in the game because naturally I want to go and peek left-hand corners but obviously like, you expose all of your body in the current state of Tarkov. And the final two things they are reworking recoil and from what I can see it looks like it's going to change substantially. It's going to be quite interesting. Personally I think it's actually going to make it more realistic Bear in mind I'm from the UK and I haven't shot anything really more than 12 gauge so take what I say in that respect with a pinch of salt. And then the main thing in my opinion which is going to change the meta is the armour rework. The fact that we're getting actual armour plates is going to be incredible. No longer is the slick going to be the best piece of armour in the game because in real life the slick is actually quite tiny and it only pretty much protects a little bit above your stomach and up to your upper chest and it offers pretty much no side protection. The way the new system is going to work, armor plates, if they're not in the side panels, that's just going to be exposed flesh. So you're essentially going to take full damage and full pen, which is going to be really interesting. So the way I think it's going to work as well, People that only play early to mid wipe cycle, if they come back later on, I think they're going to have an easier time fighting inverted commas giga chads because all they've got to do is aim for areas like armpits or the kind of neckline depending on the armor they're wearing and they don't have to have the most meta ammo as well. It just means that way more ammo types are going to be more effective. So people that haven't done the certain quests to get ammos they're not going to be that far behind because I find if you take some time off everyone's then got you know 762 BP and uh, M995 and M993 ammo and then doesn't matter what you wear you're just screwed but I think that's going to change that very very much so so that's going to be interesting also as well funnily enough this clip in the background is on shoreline shoreline is getting an expansion that's going to be really really interesting to see it's quite a big map but people only really go to clusters of areas so it's going to be interesting to see if it shifts how people play shoreline as well and the new map ground zeros which is going to be level locked to between level 15 and level 20 they're not sure but personally i think all of these changes are good because this is my sixth wipe and I just find the gameplay loop is always the same for me. I do the same things over and over again and then I get bored at around the same time. But finally with the release of Arena being scheduled to be the same time as Wipe, I feel like when I get bored of actual Tarkov, 
if I do want some PvP, I can just jump in and play Arena. I think that's what's going to happen for a lot of people. Arena is just going to be, if you want to hone your PvP skills, or if you just want to play PvP, and you don't want to do any of the questy stuff that Tarkov is also known for. It's going to be really good. I think it's going to be a breath of fresh air for the Tarkov community. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I really can't wait. I'm super excited. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is Simmers Dim Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.